Hello there, middle school math teacher. If you are curious to know what is the best way to wrap up your school year the right way, I have three key tips for you. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership, your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. So what is the right way to wrap up the school year? Sure, we can just throw all our stuff in our cabinets or in some years, not even put anything away, but it's gonna make returning to school in August a lot more stressful. So key number, tip number one, I want you to take a look at the information that you have on hand and prep your syllabus now for next school year. I want you to do this as best as you can. Obviously, I know the reality is that your class schedule could change like up to the very first day of school. I get it. Um, but if you can just make those, have your syllabus ready on your computer to print, make copies of right before the first day of school, your future self will thank you. Okay, number two organize your classroom materials in your cabinets or however whatever storage situation you have going on make sure everything is labeled put put certain things in certain boxes that's easy for you to find i know for me i would put all of the things on my teacher desk in one plastic big tupperware box so i knew and it was it's bright pink. So I know everything in the bright pink Tupperware box is for my desk, you know, so things aren't just like all over the place. And like all of the things that are on my student shelves that, you know, my students use like staplers, color pencils, just the kind of the classroom supply stuff all go into a filing cabinet that I lock for the summer. So, you know, certain places kind of house certain things for me. So I'm not just trying to frantically find things as I'm coming back in August or September, or whenever you come back to school, searching for things. I know, okay, everything over here goes on the shelf for the kids. This is all my teacher stuff. This is all my, where all my papers live, you know, just trying to keep things as organized as possible. And then third, put aside your first day or week activities so you have an idea of what you're going to do and all you have to do is just make copies i know that your you know the the actual class that you can teach the grade level that you can teach can change in any minute but i know for me like things that could change would be the type of assessment i use depending on the grade level but for the most part like all of my getting to know you activities are the same all of my, um, you know, uh, first day of school kind of classroom fun type of games that we're going to play, it doesn't matter what I'm teaching, but I want to make sure that I have all of those things copied, ready to go so that I'm not worried about it. And then, you know, the few days before school, all I'm worried about is, okay, do I have my assessments that I'm using at the, the first day, first week, whatever? If, do I have that prepped? Then I can change my syllabus if I need to, depending on what they, what ad administration tells me that I'm teaching this year. But I'm going to take the last few days. I even might go in, you know, if school, and if the last day of school is on Friday, I might go in on Monday to just kind of prep everything for myself in the future. So I don't have to spend the summertime worried about it. What would you say is the right way to end school year for you? Let me know in the comments below, because in case I'm missing anything, I want to be able to record an updated video with tips and advice from you. But these are my top three things that I do every year at the end of the school year to make my future self happy, stress-free, and ready to take on a new school year. Hope this was helpful. Bye for now.